Hello, welcome to my video. Feel free to browse the contents of my channel. Let's get started. Hi guys, I want to share in this exercise my three ways to create a vicinity map. Uh, the, the first step we're going to do is by using the Google map, we will take a screenshot and then paste it into the uh, construction drawing and we'll use annotations. And the second is uh, if you have already a vicinity map in the CAD format, we can use it to import inside the SketchUp layout. And also we will have a annotations. And the last uh, way I will be sharing is by using the CAD mapper site. Because CAD mapper has um, features that export a drawing file. And the best part is it is free. So sit back and relax and enjoy this exercise. Now here we are on the Google map. This is a very simple way is to just take a screenshot like this and then out and then paste edit paste and then you can uh, scale this like that if uh, the picture is blurred resolution kahina pala to ito images ihay nyo na lang report ihay ko na rin So, ito yung pinakamadali, the fastest way. And then, pwede tayo mag-proceed sa scrapbook. Ito yung society. I will share this scrapbook in the, in the video description later. Drag and drop portion. And then, you can also make like this. If you have a line like that and the north just put north and also we can make the rotation for example uh, to molo also this to molo and here we put this also to the pass and this one arrow just like that and then that's it now we proceed to the next step of uh, imp importing your AutoCAD file to the layout. First of all, uh, use a purge so that uh, to remove the unnecessary unseen invisible lines so our model will be clean. And now we proceed now to the SketchUp layout. Just press the file, insert, and look for the file of the vicinity map. And then just import it. Explode it and just remove the scale. Now you can just uh, auto fit the lines. Pagkasyahin nyo na lang guys. Pag may time kayo, pwede nyo ring scale ito. So, sa situation ngayon, meron kasi mga vicinity na hindi masyadong nakiscale. So, anyways, we proceed now to uh, for example, we proceed now to the creation of the vicinity. Once again, we just add a, the unnecessary north. You can also change this. Or like that. And that's it guys. That's very fast. That's the advantage of having a ready-made AutoCAD file. Now we are we are now here in the CAD mapper. Just uh, locate your location. Just type your location here in the box. For me, I'll try Iloilo City. And then now we can just uh, select 
select the area you want to get data or map as you can see here guys we have a variety of options AutoCAD SketchUp Illustrator Rhino Archicad SketchUp 8 to 2014 and other and uh, DXF file so in this exercise we will just use the AutoCAD we will need the lines there's also an option here that uh, if you want to get also the 3D buildings I'm not sure if this is the height yes and also the topography but for now I don't really need the topography I will just untick this and for the raw geometry uh, there's also three options here center line outlines mesh surface but for me I will just use the outlines and please be aware that the highway was set up here the width of the highway is 20 meter the major roads is 15 the minor roads is 6 and the pathway are 5 so it depends on you guys just uh, use the trial and error uh, but for me I will make the minor roads 8 and the pathway to 3 and now we just select we click here the create file button so just click the download and now we go to download folder we will check the CAD file as you can see here guys I just turn off the contour and the water lines and also I make the buildings gray but it doesn't matter because when you import it to SketchUp layout it will all be the same lines so now we're going to the we'll set aside this first we're going to import another CAD the CAD mapper So as you can see, uh, there's more data here showing the buildings, the existing buildings of the site. I think uh, this will also make the... So maganda, pa, maganda naman yung kanya, detalyado. So yung next, mga, next natin gagawin is to again put the necessary annotations. Uh, by the way, we can adjust the stroke if it is too we can also make it like this uh, grayscale uh, so that if we put the annotations will look like so we'll sample here like that The only cons of this is uh, you will uh, create the road name. Kasi kon talaga siya eh. Uh, medyo matagal lang tong proseso na to kasi nalagyan mo talaga siya ng, ng kon talaga. Isa-isa talaga na annotations. So that's it guys, uh, <clears throat> three simple ways to create a vicinity map. Let me know in the comments which method do you like. Don't forget to like and subscribe for another SketchUp tutorials. See you in the next video. Thank you.